This video explains how to sum duplicate rows in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you two examples and both of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with lines two and three of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame object is appearing, which is called data. And if you click on this data set, a new window is opened, which is showing the structure of our data frame. And as you can see, our data contains six rows and two columns, which are called X1 and X2. And the first column X1 contains duplicates. So let's assume that we want to sum the values in the column X2 based on the duplicates in the column X1. Then we can apply the aggregate function, as you can see in line five of the code. And within the aggregate function, we need to specify the column containing the values that we want to sum. And then we need to specify a tilde. And after the tilde, we need to specify the column in which we want to search for duplicates. Then we also need to specify the name of the data frame. So in this case, our data frame is called data. And we need to specify the name of the function that we want to use to combine our data. So in this case, we want to sum our data. And then we are also storing the output of the aggregate function in a new data frame object that we are calling data sum one. So if you run line five of the code, you can see that this data set is appearing at the top right. And if you click on this data frame, you can see that a new data frame has been created, which contains only three rows because we have combined all the groups in the column X1. And for that reason, we only have one row for the group A, for the group B, and for the group C. And the column X2 contains the sum for each of these groups. So in this first example, I have explained how to use the aggregate function of base R to calculate the sum by groups. However, it's also possible to use the dplyr package for this task, and this is what I want to show you in the next example, starting in line seven of the code. So in lines seven and eight of the code, I'm first installing and loading the dplyr package. I have installed this package already, so for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line eight of the code. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the dplyr package, such as group by and summarize. So if you run lines 10 to 13 of the code, you can see that another data frame is appearing at the top right, which is called data sum two. And if you click on this data frame, you can see that we have created exactly the same output. However, this time we have used the dplyr package instead of base R. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video, so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.